Hello, my name is Anthony and welcome to the White Box Geospatial YouTube channel. Today I'll be providing a short tutorial to introduce some of the newest surface curvature tools that have been added to the White Box Tools Library. With the latest release of these surface curvature tools, there exists a breakup of which curvature tools belong in which White Box Tools product. Some of the surface curvature tools have been added to the White Box Geospatial Extension products, specifically the DEM and Spatial Hydrology Extension and the White Box General Toolset extension. Both of these extension products require a software license from White Box Geospatial to use. Of the surface curvature tools that were not placed in the extension products, they were placed in the White Box Tools Open Core with the additional surface curvature tools that exist in the Open Core, such as plan curvature, profile curvature, total curvature, and tangential curvature. Focusing in on the DEM and Spatial Hydrology extension and the White Box General Toolset extension, these are the following surface curvature tools that have been added to these extension products. Accumulation curvature, curveness, difference curvature, generating function, horizontal excess curvature, ring curvature, rotor curvature, shape index, unsphericity, and vertical excess curvature. Here is a quick animated GIF to show you some of the outputs of these surface curvature tools. Later in this video, I'll be providing you a little bit of a script where I extract some of these surface curvature tools and we can take a look at them at a, in greater depth. But now, now that we've seen that the surface curvature tools that exist within the white box geospatial extension product, let's actually go to the white box tools user manual and see which surface curvature tools exist within the white box tools open core. So in the geomorphometric analysis toolbox in the white box tools user manual, you'll see a list of tools within this toolbox. You'll see three additional curvature tools that have been added with this latest release. These surface curvature tools are maximal curvature, mean curvature, and minimal curvature. Additionally, we have the common curvatures that have always exist within the white box tools open core, specifically plan curvature, profile curvature, uh, tangential curvature, and total curvature. Now that we're familiar with what surface curvature tools are in white box tools, let's actually head over to QGS where we'll look at a sample data set of what, uh, where we'll be extracting curvatures from today. This is a sample LiDAR DEM in a location in Colorado, I believe it's Grand Junction, and it's the data set we'll be using today to extract um, various surface curvatures. Um, normally in these videos, I extract um, uh, attributes from white box runner which is the white box geospatial front end but today I'm actually going to be using the white box tools API through, uh, using Python and I'll be using VS code to do that so let's just head over to uh, VS code so this is the script that I quickly a quickly um, created um, so basically I'll quickly go over what it does so basically I over here, I just import the operating system and I import white box tools. I also import time to do a little bit of uh, uh, time to see how long the tool runs. Here, I um, point to the executable directory, the data directory, the output data directory, and then the input DEM file. And then here, I set the white box tools environment variables, such as the white box directory. The working directory, I set the verbose mode to false. This way that it doesn't, um, the white box tools output doesn't progress to the, doesn't print to the terminal every time. And then lastly, I set the compressed rasters to true. So it's just a little bit of a smaller geo tip that gets created. And then here I perform um, process calls for these uh, tools that I wish to uh, use, uh, specifically plan curvature, profile, tangential, total. These are the ones that are in the open core. And then we have some mix of the geospatial extension product curvatures, such as Gaussian curvature, accumulation curvature, curveness, generating function, ring curvature, unsphericity, and vertical excess curvature. So I'm just going to quickly uh, run this tool, run this script, sorry. And I'll just pause the video just to save a bit of time. So the script just executed and it took about 19 seconds, which is very quick to extract, uh, I don't know, about 12 to 15 uh, surface curvatures. So now that we have the tool, the attributes extracted, let's head back to QJS. We'll actually view a couple of the outputs today. So 
select load a couple of those rasters. We save the data to output. Let's pick rotor curvature, curvedness, and then maximal curvature. You know, we'll actually also pick plane curvature. Guess I'll do it again. Rotor maximal curvedness. So now that we have these rasters loaded in QJS, let's put a more appealing palette on them. And we'll change the minimax to something symmetrical. Let's do red to blue. We'll invert it, equal interval, negative one. 0.1 to 0 0.1, perfect. And then we'll copy the style and apply it to the rest of the rasters. Paste style, paste style, and paste style. So we are looking at maximal curvature right now. So as you can see, it does, let's actually just turn off these layers so we can see the underlying hill shade as well. So you can see it does a good job to um, highlight the ridges and the hill slopes. Uh, let's have take a look at curvedness now. Once again, does a very good job to highlight the ridge lines, the hill slopes uh, in this DEM. Rotor curvature. This once again does a good job to highlight those features of interest. It also does a good job highlighting the underlying river that runs through this DM. And then lastly, we have the common attribute of plan curvature. Um, so that concludes this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them down below in the comment section. And also if you're interested a bit more in the script that I had in this video, uh, please feel free to ask below and I'll try to upload that somehow or get that to you in, uh, in another way. Uh, once again, thanks for watching.